forecasting bots deliver the most accurate forecasts without requiring workforce management teams to be AI experts. We're going to talk about two bots here, Freddy and Frida. One, a basic forecasting bot, the other with special extended forecasting capabilities. So as we've seen with the, uh, the knowledge authoring bot and the capabilities of uh, adding, adding answers, adding capabilities to containment bot, bots don't just support agents and customers. They support all business functions across the organization. It's not just about shaving off seconds. I mean, that's critically important, but it's more about creating better outcomes driving improved CX automation uh, you know, across the organization. So here, Dave, how's AI being used? What's so special about Freddy the Forecasting Bot? So for, we call Freddy like the basic forecasting bot. And we sort of step back and think, it's probably basic by our terms, not by everybody else's, right? We've it's, added a still lot in cool. here. It's, yeah, it's, if there's, it's just basic because there's so much more after that. Right, and where this comes in is, is looking at the fact there are a lot of different forecasting algorithms available, right? They're for different assumptions, different situations, different, different media and traffic types. And as a WFM professional, you don't want to have to be an AI specialist. You don't have to understand all of these algorithms, where they work, where they don't work, where they're best, where they're not, to figure it out. All you want is the best outcome and the most accurate forecast possible. And that's where this bot helps out. It looks at every available algorithm across historical data under different situations and different media types, and then can help you, help you select automatically the right algorithm for the situation you're forecasting for right now without having to be an AI specialist. It allows us to add capability without adding complexity. That's fantastic. But, you know, there are external factors at play. I, I mean, every day isn't the same, right? Lots of things could impact planning, weather, power outages, mm -hmm forest fires? Absolutely, and this is where the extended forecasting bot comes in. It allows you to look at all of this external data as well, and uses AI to look at the characteristics of the data and tease out correlations that you don't necessarily know or couldn't predict or identify manually. So you mentioned forest fires. So, you know, again, as a Canadian, I'd like to apologize to everyone for the uh, air quality recently. Um, but knowing that's going on, you could feed in air quality data and see if that impacts what's going on. And that would probably have an impact for uh, healthcare providers, probably not for a bank. Um, you can feed in things like I was uh, talking to some customers yesterday, and they talked about, uh, you know, uh, in the travel industry, you know, influx of calls because there was a wave of cancellations from an airline that shall remain nameless. Um, and so again, you can feed in all this, this data saying, hey, when, when this kind of time series data happens, does it impact my situation? And that's for every customer, it's unique evaluation of impact for them to drive the most accurate forecasts for them. So in the example we have on the screen here, uh, you can see how it's uh, kind of small, but they fed in weather and sentiment from the website. I see, although we think weather's gonna have a big driver on our call volume, turned out not to, so we don't have to use that to enhance the forecast. However, the sentiment coming, you know, sentiment coming off the website does impact call volumes. So we can look at that feed of, of website sentiment and use that to continually increase the action of the forecast uh, ongoing. Right, so, so here, the extended forecasting bot actually uses data from multiple sources, both from within the variant platform and without, and the bot can help identify correlations and surfaces relevant impacts, all within a single application.